Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Shiori Noodle 1002. Thanks for the suggestion, Shiori Noodle. You asked, what exactly is MSG and is it really bad for you? Well, MSG has been the star of one of the longest running food scandals in history. Some people swear it's delicious magic dust, while others act like it's powdered poison. So, what's the truth? Let's unpack the strange, funny, and flavorful story of MSG right here on Explaining Everything. All right, let's start with the basics. MSG stands for monosodium glutamate. Sounds scary, right? Like something Walter White would cook up in a hazmat suit. But actually, it's just the sodium salt form of an amino acid called glutamic acid, something your body already knows and loves. In fact, glutamate is naturally found in tons of foods, tomatoes, cheese, mushrooms, even your mom's homemade chicken soup. So MSG isn't some bizarre alien invention. It's basically glutamate, just in a crystal form that you can sprinkle like salt. When you add it to food, it delivers that special taste scientists call umami, the so-called fifth taste, alongside sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. If you've ever had ramen, Doritos, or even Parmesan cheese, congrats, you've tasted MSG. And guess what? You probably liked it. MSG has a surprisingly wholesome origin story. It all started in 1908 when a Japanese chemist named Kikunai Ikeda was enjoying a bowl of seaweed soup. He noticed it had this rich, savory depth that didn't fit neatly into the usual categories of taste. Being a curious scientist, he went full Sherlock Holmes on his dinner and isolated the compound responsible, glutamate. Then he thought, hey, what if I turn this into something people can sprinkle on their food? And boom, MSG was born. He even patented the process, leading to the brand Ajinomoto, which literally means essence of taste. It quickly became a kitchen staple in Japan and beyond. It was cheap, it was tasty, and it made bland food exciting. Here's where things get messy. In 1969, a letter was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The author, a doctor, wrote that every time he ate at Chinese restaurants, he felt weird symptoms, headaches, numbness, a rapid heartbeat. He casually blamed MSG and the media went bananas. Suddenly, Chinese restaurant syndrome was born. Newspapers, TV and suburban dinner parties all started pointing the finger at MSG as if it were the root of all evil. People imagined it was this shady chemical dumped into stir-fries by the ladle. Restaurants scrambled to put up no MSG signs, as if they were proudly declaring themselves toxin-free. Never mind the fact that MSG was already in American foods like canned soup, chips, and pizza rolls. Nope, it was only the foreign Chinese food that got the blame. Spoiler alert, the whole panic was based on flimsy evidence and a lot of cultural bias. Later studies tried to replicate the so-called MSG symptoms, and the results? Super inconsistent. Most people felt nothing at all. If someone did get a headache, it was usually because they ate way too much food or convinced themselves MSG was evil before taking a bite. Basically, MSG was canceled decades before Twitter even existed. Fast forward to today, 
and MSG is getting its redemption arc. Food scientists have done study after study, and the overwhelming conclusion is this. MSG is safe for the general population. The FDA, the World Health Organization, and countless research bodies all agree. Unless you're shoveling tablespoons of it straight into your mouth, which please don't, you're fine. And honestly, even regular salt can cause problems if you eat buckets of it. Compared to salt, MSG actually has less sodium by weight. So using it in cooking can even reduce overall sodium intake while boosting flavor. That's like replacing your villain character with a hero halfway through the movie. Now, chefs around the world are openly embracing MSG again. Fine dining restaurants use it. Food influencers rave about it. And that old no MSG sign outside your local takeout joint. That's slowly being replaced with a wink and a sprinkle. MSG is finally shaking off its bad reputation and strutting back onto the culinary stage like it never left. It's monosodium glutamate, a simple seasoning that boosts umami flavor. It's not dangerous, it's not poison, and no, it's not secretly melting your brain. The whole fear around it was fueled by bad science, media hype, and a healthy dose of cultural stereotyping. Today, the science is clear. MSG is safe, tasty, and deserves way more love than it gets. Next time you see it in your food, don't panic. Instead, thank Kikunai Ikeda for giving us one of the greatest flavor boosts in human history. So the next time someone at the dinner table whispers, doesn't that have MSG in it? You can confidently say, yeah, and that's why it's delicious. If you learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and go ahead. Add that delicious magic dust. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.